You know how I said Shiro is the cutest character of this anime season? Well, this series is the cutest anime of this season. Oh my god, the Moe Blob is so strong in this series. It's just so adorable. This episode is adorable. I love that ending part so much. When you see Shiro just hugging Rise, it's like, oh, I love you, Lightning. It's just, oh my god, the facial expressions are so amazing. Especially when you see Shiro just not look at Rise with uh, Chino's outfit on, and you'll hear her, like, doing, hey, just, oh my god. The way she smiles, voice actor, the way she pulled off, the way she sounded was just so freaking funny, and it was hilarious. Once again, no plot whatsoever in this, but that's not what this series is, you know, built upon. It's built upon these character interactions. I feel like it did a good job. I was just doing kawaii this entire episode because it was just so cute. These characters, I cannot get enough of them each passing week. They're just getting cuter and cuter on the screen. I mean, this time they go to a herbal tea shop to be able to drink tea. And they get to see our famous Cocoa and not even know what each different set of tea is. It's like, oh, I'll take the dandelion because I want to be a lion. I'm thinking like... Really? Really? It, it, it just is so funny getting to see the way everything happened. We find out about this new character introduced called Sharo, and that she's, like, I guess gets addicted to coffee really easy. Like, she gets a sugar high. She's like, yeah, you're just going all over the place. I wish coffee could do that to me still, because I love my fucking coffee, but it cannot do that to me. But that... That was funny. I love the way Sharo was introduced this episode. It was just so cute. The way they're uh, making her out to be like a Ojasama, like a freaking princess or something, was so funny because she lives in this little house by herself, it seems, where this house has like some form of binary growing on it next to the uh, other cafe, but they think she's like a rich girl. So that's funny. I like the way it is. And we also find out a little bit about Risa this episode that she is the rich girl. She broke an antique cup like it was target practice. Yeah, she did that. I I, I know all but people that collect antiques probably cried at that scene. Because they're like, oh my god, you broke an antique cup or so much money. And you just used it for target practice. Okay, so the animation-wise. Animation, Moe, good freaking quality animation. One of the best animations of this anime season. I love the Moe in this episode. I... This is a different form of fan service. It's mainly meant for people that just want a nice, good, appealing animation with cute little characters that are technically not chibi-fied, but at the same time, they're just adorable. It, it really. I mean, there was one moment in this where they went all chibi fied I love their freaking eyes. They were like, ooh, eyes bugged out and all that. I was like, oh my god. It was just... Uh, there, there's not much more words I could say about this series. This was a good episode. It had some funny moments that is standard in this anime series. It has the cute characters, introductions, all sorts of stuff going on that managed to make this episode entertaining for the entire episode. Honestly, though, my favorite moment was the ghost story part. That was pretty freaking funny. I liked it, the way the entire atmosphere changed and Chia was trying to scare everybody. And then you see Coco, it's like, we're gonna be haunted, and she started there shaking. That was great. So, tell me your thoughts on this episode. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Do you feel like this Moe Blob is too strong for you? Like, you don't want to continue on? Do you love it? Do you feel like this is one of the cutest anime of this anime season? Let me know in the comments below. Be honest. Everybody, love you so much. Please be safe. And she be out.